Hi guys, I welcome you back to Digital Assets. In today's video, we'll be talking about what is taking and why is it important to stake your coin. <clears throat> now, in simple terms, staking refers to uh, locking your asset up for reward. So, what I mean by that is that, let me give you a simple example of that. Let's assume you open a Nigeria bank, so, and they tell you, if you lock up so 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 amount, let's assume 10,000 naira, you'll be getting 5% of the money. So that is the same thing applicable to staking. We call it staking in uh in core, sorry, in cryptocurrency. So it is called staking in cryptocurrency, whereby you lock up some portion of your coin and then you'll be getting reward based on the percentage. So based on the percentage commission. That is taking, and why is taking so important? Now, the reason why it's taking is so important is that the reason why it is important. Let me tell you the one most important thing that is good for you to stake your coin. Imagine, let's assume a coin worth five thousand dollars as an example. Now, and you have like twenty coin. Let's assume you stake ten coin, and then that out of that ten coin, you'll be getting like maybe. 10% of that 10 coin. Now imagine, calculate 10% than the actual amount of what you have. Calculate how much you'll be earning, maybe per month or per weekly or per year. Depends on how, how many years they set it to. So that is how it is important for you to do what? For you to stake your coin. So make sure you stake your coin. It's very, very important. Now imagine, let's assume you stake now and then you start getting reward in future and you don't work you start getting like maybe one thousand plus dollars per month and you, do, you didn't work at all you just sit down with your phone and you start making money without without any effort so that's very very good now so that is why it's very very important to stake your coin so it's very important to stake your coin now if you want to stake your coin this is how you can do it let's assume uh, you know they have not released our coin for us they have not released it so once they release it, everyone will be able to stake. But I will be using uh, the testnet, the core testnet to stay, to do what? To do the example for you now. So if you want to stake, so this is, if you want to stake using the core mainnet, you will use stake.core.org. But I will be using the testnet because they have not released our core. So let me use the testnet, which is validator here. So... Let's assume this is the original page or uh, the communist. You know this is this is testnet, but let us let's assume this is uh the mainnet. So if you want to do what if you want to stake, once you reach this place, you see something like this, then click on this menu here. Click on this menu, and then you see something like connect wallet. You know, I've already connected my own wallet. So you see something like connect wallet. Once you once you click on connect wallet, then you'll be asked to approve it. And you'll be asked to make sure you trust the process. So just approve everything. Once you do that, if it brings another step, so make sure you follow it. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't bring another step, just make sure you click on connect wallet and then do the other step. Once you do that successfully, then you see your core, uh, you see your wallet here that it has been connected. Now, if you want to stake, which is called delegate, if you want to delegate, this is how you can do it. So, as you can see here, let me show you the this. As you can see in this minute, we have many validators. So we have many validators here. So you can just choose any validators. <coughs> can just let us now. If you want to choose validators, know the kind of validator that you choose. As you can see here, if you check this one, down validator eleven. Hybrid score 4.76% and the commission is 5%, which means if you stake any coin that you stake, you'll be getting 5% commission on it. And for this one, you'll be getting 10% commission. And make sure that you check their score because it's very important as well. So make sure you check their score. As you can see, almost all the validators are the same. So this one is not active. But the most important thing is, <coughs> is the commission rate. So as you can see, this one is high, so you can choose the, high, the highest one. 
So let me use test tent again. So that I can be able to. Now this this one here is seven percent. If I click, you can you just click on just one validator. So let's assume this validator here. Once you click on it, then you see something like this on top. So I've already delegated. That's why you are seeing on delegates here. Let's assume you are new to this. You will not see something like on delegate. The only thing you see is delegate. So you just have to click on delegate. Then the minimum you can delegate is one call. So you can just click on pam pam pam. How many call you want to delegate? Or you can just type it manually here. So once you choose how many call you want to delegate, let us want to delegate one call. Then just click on delegate. Then you have to wait. Then you should tell you how many balance you have and everything like that. Just click on confirm. So once you click on confirm, then wait for it to be successful. Then you have successfully do what? You have successfully um you have successfully stake your coin. And then if you want to undelegate, you can even undelegate anytime. The reason is that core is decentralized. And what is the meaning of decentralized? Decentralized give you access. Decentralized means you are the only one that you have access to your assets, to your stuff. So no one will be able to control you over your assets. That is the meaning of decentralized. All these Binance and code, they are centralized, which means they are controlling people on the assets. You are not the one controlling your assets, but in the, in the centralized platform, you are the only one to control your assets by yourself. No one is controlling it for you. So you can just, if you want to undelegate, delegate, it's your choice. You can undelegate delegate at any time. So you can just click on delegate. Then you choose any amount that you want. Then just click on confirm and everything like that. So let me just reject it. I don't want to undelegate. delegate. So that is how to do it. That is how to delegate and on delegate. And if you want to confirm, if you want to do it, uh, if you want to claim your reward, you just have to click on this menu again. Click on this menu, then click on my staking. Click on my staking and then click on claim claim reward. So once you click on claim reward, maybe once you know I've not got any reward yet. Let me check. So once I get any reward, maybe I will do another video. But if you understand that, so that's just very simple to do. So once you click on that, then you see your claim, you see where you will claim your reward. Then you just have to click on claim your reward and approve it. So once you click the re uh, claim on reward, then the reward that you are given, so it will be added to your wallet, to your core wallet. So that is how to delegate, and it is very important to delegate. I tell you guys, don't waste your core. Don't, uh, don't spend all your core finish. Make sure you delegate, make sure you save. Because once you save, and you can even save, you can delegate for 81 years. So... The delegation is meant to be last for only 81 years. Imagine. Let's assume you are 20 or 30 years plus now. Imagine how much you will be making for 81 years. So, it's for your own safety. It's for your own good. Delegation give you, give you a, free, a freedom for you to retire at early stage. So that when you become old, or you don't have to work anymore. So, you just sit down in your house. Be getting any amount of your choice in your room without doing any work. So that's the advantage of delegating your core. So make sure you delegate. So that is everything for now. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it with others so that they can benefit from it. And if don't forget to subscribe. And if you are already a subscriber, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that whenever I drop a new video, you be the amount of people to see my video. See you in the next one. Bye for now.